crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> she is crazy with a capital Go on, fuck. Tell him, boy. tell him what you got in mind. For That was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Missing every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. God damn it, you two. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't that, worry your head about them bandits. The head I'm set? sorry you see that's, more that's violence than I've some thought ambience. in a short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. They're gonna do some fucked up shit look around. if that's don't thunder wander in the too far. Thing. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And Marks for dinner. And thank you again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. I'm gonna go check on them because I have the feeling uses cannibals. Hi, Clementine. Are they cannibals? And I'm gonna have to deal with this crap. Let's just talk to Lily because fuck me for wanting to get through this without having to deal with some bullshit. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the she was talking all crazy and had a crossbow, so Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? She claimed to have know. not been one. I think she was trying to tell me something, but then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, that's nothing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know uh, what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. I will try to not, but... Lily, it's gonna happen. I'm just, just, I'm sorry it's gonna happen. Why do I have crackers in my inventory still? I mean, seriously, it's still showing up. Kenny, where'd you go, Kenny? I need to talk to you and get your side of things so I can tell you both to shut the hell up. <sighs> Kenny, are you back this? Fuck it, I'm going in the barn. I think he was in the barn maybe with Katya. I gotta give Clementine her hat anyways.
It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? Maybe. I don't know. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor end who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, That's Lee, weird. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. She looks skinny. Hey there, Andy. Yep. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Is she cooking up Mark? Thanks. I yep. think she's cooking up Mark. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Well, like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Those kids. two are just kids. It does bring up a good point. It smells odd. checking out stalls. I want to put in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. I want to put in the hay. What? Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. One. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Maybe someone died in them? Probably this one has. That's a... Uh... It's a feeding trough. What's next to it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Okay, so I gotta find Kenny. And probably something to charge that camera. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. Huh. I thought maybe I could plug the camera in. Not to lack. It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. Um, that's a little creepy. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I don't want to ask. Let's go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Can I go mention it to Lily? Cause there's gotta be something on that camera that'll show that they're really fucked up people, like cannibalism like that kind of messed up now where the hell is Kenny so I can talk to him about them being all creepy must maybe Lily I can talk to about it hey I'm gonna go check things out just don't get too nosy these kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Uh, oh, so I've... Damn it. So maybe if I go talk to Larry and what's her name? Or Brenda. Brenda's the one. Maybe they'll have, uh... Some information that I can use to advance this story. You two. We'll uh we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> he just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. Huh. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. That's a little disconcerting. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that really? have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. They're really quick to... Uh... Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here, instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen, is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. It's Mark, they're cooking Mark. Look around. 
Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters crying against the fence before too long. What do I have to do to advance this goddamn story? Hello. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. They're cannibals. How in the bloody hell do I advance this storyline? how to fix this if something goes wrong. They're clueless about this stuff. Okay. Found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. God damn it, Kenny. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? No, we're just talking. Let me do the talking. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Yeah, they're definitely... Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna fuck with the generator. So I need to get him out of the barn. Damn, this 
thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Did you leave? Huh. Well, I'm... Hmm. I gotta check if he's back in there. Cause if he is, I gotta do again. And again. Until I can get into that room. But I have to do it again. Because rule of threes in video games. And then I get in the barn. And then I know what's in there. And then I. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Gonna borrow this for a second. I'm gonna need that for the screws, anyways. Dangerous maneuver, Lee. That is actually incredibly dangerous since the walkers thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Yeah, that's really dangerous things that powers all of the electric fence keeping the walkers out. I mean that is that is um like fuck everything dangerous. Like, everyone could be killed because of how dangerous that is to do, Lee. Let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Be there Kenny, early. come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Yay. Man, this is exciting. I get to see what's behind door number one. So easy to break into things when they're set up like that. Oh, this is a. That's a torture room. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time.
Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. That is a torture room. That is a torture room if I ever saw one. They hunt and eat bandits. Oh, Brenda, Biscuits? you are wow. an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. He's in the oven. I wash my hands first. Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all. Mark is dinner. And his college degree. These boys aren't stupid. And his baseball trophy. Mm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. High school diploma. a shave. Looks old. Labels worn off. Gauze pads. Oh, I'm supposed to creep up the stairs. And check on uh, a body. See if he's still alive. Morphine for. Oh God, they morphined. Candles. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Mark. Musty as hell. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. Oh what God. Would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff. And the morphine. Huh, what is that cord going? Gonna turn that on. I have a feeling that's a bad, bad thing. Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Blood stains. Is that blood? Did I call that they were cannibals? This is going to be some loud noise that's going to get me caught. What the hell? Is it, okay, my heart is actually pounding right now. Because this is... This is creepy. Holy crap, this is creepy. Did you fall in? <laughs> Dinner's on the table and everyone's having an 
how on earth did y'all get barbecue meat? Clementine. Clementine, no! Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's crazy. What the hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. He would Settle not. down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? You don't. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! God. Please. Someone. Ah. Oh. Come on. God damn it. Open the goddamn door. You can't keep us in here. <laughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bank. bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! Oh, you Lily. shit fucking bastards! Open this door, I can't believe I called it that you. early. I will knock the Please, goddamn Dad, door down! Stop. It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. You didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet- Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. What happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. Lee, we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches! Get us out, you sons of bitches! Dad! This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're no worse than the walker! Dad, please! Please settle down! Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! Come on! Try yourself! Cowards. Dad! Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah. I want to attract their attention, so I can fucking kill them! Guess yeah. your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge. And you went out of your way 
to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Salt now. Do you want to live? Uh, Pretty not heavy. Gonna Think we could heave it through the door? Yeah, door's too solid. But they're some... not gonna open the door. You, you take a fucking it got caught you in a duck, Leap. Those right fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. Dad, this isn't helping. Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Oh, come on. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy. Uh, oh, God. Dad? Larry? No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six-foot-four, three-hundred-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! No more than later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben bad. said. You gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Kenny, I'm sorry, but this man can be saved. Wake up! Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! Three. You're fucking worthless, Four. Lee. Well, that was counterproductive after the salt lick crushed his face. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! And you made Clementine cry. Look what you did, Kenny. That was bad. Are you okay? You are a terrible person, Kenny. I sided with you over? before. Yes, for now. We still need to find a way out of here. I know, but you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> Kenny, you were bad. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna give you the... 
There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Kenny. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. He has 60 cents in his pocket. He has 60 cents in his pocket. I'm sorry. God damn it. So that cracker for some reason. Anything else? I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. gonna survive this shit we got to work together how do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do if she wants to live she'll work with us if she doesn't then the hell with her Kenny that's bad listen I need a coin or something it's important it could get us out of here well I got nothing please I need to be alone God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. God damn it. This is... Oh, boy. Uh, <sighs> any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Georgia quarter. Oh, that's actually pretty funny. Take this thing off. Remove these screws and get this unit off. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Kenny, you shut your goddamn mouth. lead right into that back room. I can find out. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> okay. Am I going to control her? Fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. I guess I'm just going to sit in here. Time. Are you okay? Did anyone 
to see you. No, but there's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Kenny! God damn it. Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. 